It looks like Cobra Kai star Zolo Maraduena is booked and busy. Not only is his hit Netflix show returning next month, but he's also done filming his new movie Blue Beetle, which marks his DC-verse debut. Fans can't wait to see him in action as the beloved comic book superhero. In today's video, we'll be discussing all about Maraduena's latest project, so let's dive in. For now, it looks like Zolo Maraduena has completed work on his upcoming Blue Beetle movie. The 21-year-old Cobra Kai star is is set to take on the title role of Jamie Reyes, more popularly known as Blue Beetle, in the upcoming DC Comics movie. On Monday, July 18th, the star took to Instagram to share the news that they had wrapped filming. He wrote, Ciao Bacalo, done with Blue Beetle, see you next year. He thanked all the cast and crew who made the project possible. He was so grateful for what everyone accomplished and even more proud to call them all a family. He then personally thanked the director for trusting him to bring Jamie to life. His caption was accompanied by a photo of himself with director Angel Manuel Soto kissing his cheek. Absolutely adorable. As the lead character, Maraduena had to be in almost every scene of Blue Beetle. That's why he didn't get a lot of time off. Maraduena mentioned in an interview recently that there were probably two or three occasions where he had a couple of days off back to back, but that was about it. Other than that, it was always work, work, work. He said that this non-stop routine wasn't tiring for him, but more exhilarating. When he didn't have days off, he got worried about not having anything to do. So, he was constantly excited and looking forward to whatever the next thing is. The movie was filmed in Atlanta, before moving production to Puerto Rico for the last couple of weeks of filming. If you missed it, this actor has reportedly been cast in a key role in DC's Blue Blood. Back in May, we saw Zolo in his full Beatles suit. The movie hits theaters on August 18th, 2023. Also, Maraduena got COVID right before filming. Cobra Kai has led Zolo Maraduena to big projects like Blue Beetle. After wrapping up with Cobra Kai Season 5, Maraduena filmed the DC Comics movie as the title hero. He recently revealed that he tested positive for COVID-19 right before filming began. Maraduena spoke about his Blue Beetle filming experience on the July 26th episode of his Lone Lobos podcast. Earlier in the pandemic days, Hollywood instituted COVID-19 safety protocols so television and movies could resume work. These protocols involved frequent testing to screen out positive cases from internet interacting with others. While he was in pre-production on Blue Beetle, Maraduena recalled his frequent testing. He revealed that he'd even found his COVID ID number from back in those days from the tests, and it had brought back old memories. Maraduena said on Lone Lobos that since he was going to different places, Warner Brothers required him to get one test every two days. The only time testing stopped was when he got a positive case. Fortunately, Maraduena recovered from COVID within a week, and then he no longer had to test for several months. Next, the actor thanked fans for the love on bathroom selfie wearing the Blue Beetle suit. The 20-year-old actor shared his gratitude for all the love he received from his Blue Beetle suit after it was revealed. In case you somehow missed them, he posted his first set of photos from the set, featuring himself in the full costume for his upcoming DC superhero movie. While thanking fans on his Instagram story, he shared his new look with a selfie of him appearing to be sitting on the toilet. He captioned it, thank you for all the love on the suit. While fans had an idea of what the suit would look like already, this was the first they actually got to see an actual photo of the suit, and not just the concept art. And believe us, the stylists delivered beyond our expectations. DC fans have been raving about it on social media since the photos were posted, praising that it looks amazing, that it's one of the most accurate looking costumes ever, and that it looks exactly like it jumped off the pages of the comic books. And we couldn't agree more. Not to mention, Cobra Kai is set to play the lead in new HBO Max series. Cobra Kai Season 5 is set to hit Netflix on September 9th. Meanwhile, there's still plenty to talk about when it comes to the actors of the popular show, particularly Zolo Maraduena. According to Variety, Maraduena is reportedly taking on the lead role in the action series The Ledger for HBO Max. Currently in development, the half-hour series will follow a young man named Gabriel, played by Maraduena, who travels through different towns trying to mend the lives that were ruined by the dangerous man who had previously trained him. Variety describes Gabriel as an avenging angel, armed only with the ledger that his predecessor had left behind. Playing a leading man is something Maraduane is just getting used to. Along with his main role in Cobra Kai, the young actor will make his feature film debut as the main character in the DC Comics movie Blue Beetle, directed by Angel Manuel Soto. Blue Beetle will mark the first time a DC superhero film will center on a Latino character. Until then, we're hoping Maraduane will let us in on a few secrets for Season 5 of Cobra 
Kai. Finally, Zolo speaks about Cobra Kai Season 5. It feels like the stakes are getting higher and higher for each season of Cobra Kai. The finale always leaves the fans with a teaser of what's coming up next. To make things even worse, fans have to wait for almost a year for the next season to air. Season 4 ended at a crucial point for Miguel, and Zolo Maraduena himself said that many things changed by the time they filmed Season 5. He discussed the fifth season of Cobra Kai on his podcast, Lone Lobos, which he co-hosts with fellow Cobra actor Jacob Bertrand. While he didn't give any major spoilers, he described how his storyline changed. Maraduena believes the Cobra Kai Season 5 plot for Miguel will certainly pay off. Since Netflix announced the show had been renewed for Season 5 before it even set the date for Season 4, so now Maraduena knows what happens to his character. And the fans can't wait to find out what happens to him next. And now for some other related news. Firstly, new characters join Season 4 of Sex Education. Dan Levy, who you might know from Schitt's Creek, is now a part of the cast of Season 4 of the hit Netflix series Sex Education. His character, Thomas Molloy, is set to be an award-winning novelist and Maeve's U.S. course instructor at her exclusive university. We can't wait to finally see him back on our screens. The Emmy-winning actor isn't the only one to join the cast of the Laurie Nunn-created dramedy in a recurring role. Also joining as series regulars are Thaddea Graham, who previously appeared in Doctor Who, Marie Ruther from the show Kamikaze, as well as newcomers Anthony Lexa, Felix Mufti, Alexandra James, and Imandi Yeshua in Season 4 after Moordale Secondary was closed. Otis and Eric now confront a new challenge, their first day at Cavendish Sixth Form College. Otis is worried about opening a new clinic, and Eric hopes they won't fail again. Fans are eagerly looking forward to their faves coming back. Moving on to Bridgerton, could Season 3 be the end of Lady Whistledown? Guess we can all agree that the last season wasn't the easiest for Penelope. She had a lot to deal with. Her father's death, the change in the patriarch of the family, and the tug of war between her love for Whistledown and her best friend. The poor girl has been through enough, but one thing we do know is that she sure loves her gossip. Now, we can't help but wonder if she's going to be romancing Mr. Bridgerton, and how is she going to keep her anonymous identity a secret? She could lie, but that didn't really work out with Eloise, and we're not thrilled about a relationship based on lies. We'll have to wait and see how she works it out. Finally, which cast members are set to return for Never Have I Ever, Season 4? Since our leading lady, Devi, is staying at Sherman Oaks, all our favorite cast members, including Rama Krishnan, who plays Devi, as well as all the actors who play Fabiola, Ben, Anissa, Kamala, and Nalini, will all return for the final season. Pretty exciting news. Meanwhile, Paxton, played by Darren Barnett, decided to attend Arizona State University for college in the last episode of Season 3. Although his conversation with Devi during the finale appeared to be his last, the series wouldn't be the same without that edge of Devi's chaotic love triangle. Thankfully, the co-creator revealed that Paxton will definitely return for the last season, much to the relief of Daxton fans. And that's a wrap for this video. Are you excited to see Zolo Maraduena to make his DC debut in Blue Beetle? Let us know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next video.